welcome to another Digital Lifestyle Carbon video show. And what we're looking at in this video is a change in the setup that I've got for my home system. And I thought it might be worth uh, looking at some of the pros and cons of why I've changed this and, and how I've been and the equipment I've used to, to change it. Now, long term listeners and readers of the blog will know that I've always used the Xbox 360 as an extender connected up to my TV. And I've had that set up for a while, and I've got a PC at the back of the room which has got the tuner card in and that does my recording TV. I re recently had a change around and I'm now using the PC to connect to the TV. So I'm going to show you the PC that I'm using, how I've got it connected up um, and then just, just to really give some of the reasons why I've done this uh, and the pros and cons, there are some upsides and some downsides to it and how I'm still using my existing PC that I've that's set up for recording to in with this uh, this new setup, so I've not really lost any functionality, um, and I've not sort of got rid of a machine. I've actually gained a an extra tuner, effectively, and we've got a dual system. So first, I'm just going to quick uh, look at the the hardware configuration that I've got, and then have a look at some of the the reasons why I've changed things around. Okay, so uh, you may remember on other videos I had a unit down here that was connected up to my TV, and I've replaced that with this cabinet. So in there is uh, just hastily wired up at the moment is an Xbox 360 and my uh, receiver. So this is kind of what I was using before, but I wanted the, the flexibility of a PC. So what I've actually got, I open up the drawer here, is a PC, and this is a Nivius Zone, which is a PC for Blu-ray, um, and I've got that connected up there HDMI, which goes out the back of here. At the back of the cabinet on up to the TV and up there and I've got, I don't know if you can see it's a bit dark but I've got a, um, a hop hog tuner USB tuner device plugged in there uh, to an aerial cable and then like I said before I've got HDMI I've got audio I'm actually using the video box keyboard uh, PC keyboard so that's my sort of PC setup so why did I change around to have a PC there's a few reasons really. The first one, uh, the main reason really, is flexibility. The, having the uh, PC there gives me so much more flexibility of extender. I've been using the extender now for three, four years um, since the Xbox 360 first came out. I've been using the extender for Media Center and it's serving really well. But it hasn't got that flexibility and things are changing now. Uh, there's a lot of content available on the internet for streaming that you know, just won't work really well through the extender like the BBC iPlayer in the UK um, a lot of the time you don't need to record something you can just watch it through there and so I wanted to that that flexibility without losing the simplicity that I had with uh, the Xbox 360 so and the other thing as well is I wanted to add Blu-ray and uh, of course there's no easy way of doing that with uh, an Xbox 360 so using the Nivea Zone PC that I'm using at the moment that's got Blu-ray on it so I'm fully set up for Blu-ray as well. I'd like to mention before one of the things I wanted to do is to keep the existing PC recording set up which I've done and uh, using Home Group I, I, on, in Windows 7 I can share recordings between this PC and the other PC that I've got and any other ones around the home as well so that's the other flexibility that, uh, that I wanted to be able to do. So I can just go into uh, Recorded TV and I can see it shows that uh, I've recorded and then of course I can go through home, home group in Windows 7 and pick out something uh, recorded from my other PC that I've been using all along so I've got that flexibility to play that and uh, there's some other nice things as well um, like for example little things in Windows 7, I can be re watching recorded TV and I can use the uh, normal s transport skip controls and I can also use the mouse as well to use this skip bar. The media center functions really on the extender aren't that much different um, between Windows 7 uh, just running on the PC as running on the extender. I do find that something like going into the music library is a lot faster and uh, even though the, X, the Xbox 360 is pretty good on its performance, it's not as good as uh, 
as running Windows 7 natively or as, as a PC. It just can't live up to this uh, up to this performance. All my music is shared using Home Group as well, so all the PCs can see all that. But of course, one of the great things that you can do with PC that uh, you can't do with Extender is I can just go through and watch video clips. This is arguably the most famous place. Now, of course, you know that's not it's not HD quality, but it works. I can watch things on. I can watch TV on the PC. Uh, and I can cut and, and I can go through BBC iPlayer. So here's some BBC iPlayer content. I think I'm not showing you anything particularly new and revolutionary, but it just gives you the idea that you've got the ex extra flexibility with a PC solution that you just don't have In a land of miss, uh, on, and a it, time on of the magic, Xbox 360. The of a great Be able to watch this. Yeah, I know there's applications like um, Tudor Free MCE, which will work just as well on this and much better than it, it works much better than it does on the Xbox 360 on the PC. So again, it's down to flexibility. Um, there's other other things I like about it as well, having the having the browser and just being able to to fire up the browser and check the latest news um, without having to you know without to get another device is, is nice as well. Although I must admit I use my laptop more for for, uh, for that kind of kind of stuff. The other thing that I've got on here is um, I've got my Zoom software, so more thing I, I use my Zoom more um, more frequently. I can use this PC as the hub for my Zoom, and here's a recorded TV show that's showing up as new on there. And then I can watch that on my on my. And I can watch that on my media center system again through the Zoom. So there's a lot of a lot of choices uh, for desktop software. Some work better on ten foot and some don't. But with a, a large monitor, you're not really worried too much about small text. And this works quite nicely uh, using the the keyboard. I've got things like I could try Boxy and VLC and other things as well, which we'll look at on a on a future video. Other things I've got is a little signal monitor for my DVT but I was having signal issues and that kind of runs all the time as well so that's handy to look check. So in this video I really want to show kind of the reasoning why I moved over to a PC platform. Obviously it cut price is a big uh, factor and Xbox 360 can be got really nice and cheap if you've already got a PC to power that whereas something like the Nivea Zone you check the links in the show notes for the prices but you're talking more than an Xbox 360 but by the time it had an Xbox 360 and maybe a Blu-ray player and so on then that things start to add up then so it's not completely clear on, on price and I really like this the idea of having a little PC tucked away as well there's no fan noise from the from the Nivea so it's nice and quiet and uh, something that's always stopped me from putting a PC directly onto my TV before uh, was the sort of the noise and the bulk and being able to hide it away. So I think I've got a nice solution on there now. Certainly, it's great to have a Blu-ray. Just open the drawer, put the Blu-ray into the into the PC, and away you go. Having another operating system or other uh, applications like the uh, Zoom software and maybe Boxy and VLC gives you that flexibility. Um, the downside, of course, you've got is simplicity. Whereas with the um, Xbox 360, I could just you know use the remote, or and it was very simple. Now you've got a PC, but to be honest, uh, all the family now to use PC almost more than they, they use the Xbox 360 Media Center mode. So uh, the kids were finding it just as easy using that. And of course, you've got a keyboard if you're searching something. You've got a keyboard, and if you want to do any Twitter or anything else, you you can go straight to it. So, like I said, this is a video just showing some of the thoughts behind uh, the new setup, and I'd be interested to get your thoughts on uh, whether you go PC, uh, the small form factor PC, or low cost PCs as opposed to the Xbox 360. Certainly, you could if I don't know, you've got the small, uh, low for, low cost, small form factor PCs, 
and you use those as extenders. Using Home Group, you can really get everything that a software extender would give you, apart from live TV, but I've got a tuner on there and a splitter, so my original PC's got a tuner card on it, this PC's got a tuner card, and I can pull those recorders using Home Group. So I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that, and I'll mention it on the podcast a few times as well. So email me, ian at littlelifestyle.com. And I'm going to do a few more videos uh, showing off a bit more about the Nivea Zone and showing off some of the features of how we can use a PC and maybe looking at things like Boxy as well. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you around on the digitallifestyle.com.